My last video today will be about some of the comfort and usability features that I've added to the layout. Uh, the first thing you'll notice when you walk in is that my booster and command station is right there and uh, it's got a little area for it to sit. So very easily accessible on the corner there. Uh, underneath you can see my two computers. The one on the right is uh, the one that I use day to day. The one on the left was supposed to be uh, to work with some uh, Lego devices. I never really ended up doing that, but it's still there, and I occasionally use it for hard drive recovery and such. Um, all the computer hardware here is either hand-me-down or salvage um, from somebody else or from me. So uh, it didn't really cost me anything other than adding a stick of RAM uh, to the, the uh, computer on the right there, and uh, got a rebate from Micro Center. So there's my two power strips. Um, they're wired so that the PC and the phone are on the first one and uh, the random tools, the speakers, and uh, the lights, and the monitors are plugged into the second one. So if I turn the second one off, I can go upstairs. The PC is still on, but all my monitors and lights are shut down, um, which is very convenient. So I don't have to manually turn things on and off. Uh, the lights are wired to that red extension cord that you see going up. Um, that comes from the second uh, power strip. And yes, this wiring is kind of illegal, but it is uh, safe. It's all 14 gauge and grounded. There's a chair underneath I was using to do some wiring work. I have shelves all around the layout for storage. Um, lots of random stuff. Um, pretty much all my railroad stuff, actually I think Almost everything except for a few boxes now are actually with the railroad itself for ease of access. Back here uh, you can see my Tempur-Pedic shoes, um, slippers, they are very strange looking but they help with fatigue um, when standing on concrete as do these um, rubber construction mats that I'm standing on right now. Um, the combination of those two help a lot with foot fatigue. Um, when standing up working for hours and hours at a time on the hard concrete floor and it also keeps things a lot warmer uh, since the air is a lot warmer than the floor. So here we're going to walk around. There's the missing module which is over there getting prepared to go up to Springfield. There's where the cat sleeps, an old chair. Here on my uh, duck under um, I have the foam padding uh, to protect my back and uh, more foam padding under there and um, that definitely makes it a lot more comfortable to go underneath and I can kind of brush up against it and um, not have to bend down as far. Uh, I'm a tall guy, I'm about six foot three inches so um, the duck under is a little tricky but um, it was a sacrifice that I had to make to get more layout space. So there's more of the floor tiles. They cover pretty much the entire area where I'll be standing. Sorry for the shaky video. I'm crawling through the duck under. I showed the tool cart before. I'm going to put some shelves in, uh, which are up high, um, about a foot off the ground, so that I can have stuff up a little bit higher, easier to access. Um, those are not in yet. I have to go get some CDX from the uh, lumber yard for those. I found that it was much cheaper than buying handy panels from Home Depot. There's some extra stuff storage keeping it out of the way so I don't kick it. Um, it's uh, accessible but not in the way. Over here comes to where I have my computer, um, my workbench, and this is kind of the center of um, everything that I do here um, since I can work on anything on the workbench. And you can see I have two keyboard and mice. The rear one's for the old Dell, and then these are for the blue computer. And um, I have twin monitors, so I can throw up a video on one and um, still have uh, access to regular programs, email, all that kind of stuff on the other one. Uh, I can also have a remote desktop up to my laptop upstairs. Um, the monitor on the right was my friend's neighbor's old monitor. It uh, was a top-of-the-line ultra-sharp monitor in its day. It's probably 10 years old now, but um, it has a pretty stunning picture. It was probably many hundreds of dollars I got it for free. 
so I'm very happy about that. Uh, and then on the left is my old TV. Um, TVs these days are great for computer monitors, and it also is connected to the cable. Um, it has a uh, clear QAM tuner, so I can tune into the locals in HD. And uh, it's great for watching the news to figure out what's going on outside for the weather, but typically it is run as a dual monitor, or second monitor, I should say. Uh, so there's my uh, work track, um, where I can bring stuff in to work on. There'll eventually be a backdrop up here. I'm going to put a pegboard up um, to store some tools. That's probably going to be um, in this area over here where the pegboard will be. And those little wood pieces there are for a view block um, behind where the service track has to go through the backdrop. I have wired um, the layout so that I have Ethernet. Um, you hear a little bit of buzzing from my phone. Um, Ethernet. Uh, phone service and cable TV um, was fairly easy to wire. Just wired each one in from the main uh, panels and they're connected on the other end and uh, just plugged them in here. So now I have uh, gigabit uh, data access to the network and the internet uh, as well as an old phone there that I hooked up and uh, cable TV. Um, under here you can see the other side of the uh, two power strips. Uh, that is some very temporary wiring up there. Those are some old speakers. Uh, those came with our original computer in 1993 and uh, they still work like a charm and I listen to a lot of uh, video podcasts and TV shows down here. Um, typically listening to one while I'm working. Uh, because there's a lot of power tools I have to constantly pause them so I don't miss uh, part of whatever the, the uh, show host is saying. So on my iPod, I have remote controls for um, VLC, iTunes, um, as well as a general remote control um, from Logitech called Touch Mouse, um, which just controls the mouse and keyboard of the uh, computer that you select. And um, I also have the ability to do direct control in addition to uh, using JMRI and Y throttle to control the actual trains themselves. Up there on the screen right now is a series of JMRI panels and um, I have the ability to turn the power on and off, have a virtual throttle, um, have the Y throttle server there for the uh, wireless clients, uh, monitor my slots and monitor LocoNet itself. That's a tiny, tiny fraction of what JMRI can do. Um, there's so much more can do, everything from dispatcher panels to a remote turnout control um, to showing block occupancy, um, full CTC, um, all kinds of stuff. I just barely have scratched the surface of it. Um, I just barely use its feature set, but it is great um, just for that and just for using Y throttle for um, wireless control of the trains. And uh, I think that's about it.